um okay so today's video is going to be about look this one of them videos i'm just gonna get straight into it because it's been on my mind lately and you know we living in our last days honestly so make best of it wow first thing i want to start off with saying is that god has put me in plenty of positions that i know i couldn't have been in without him he's saved me from a lot of things like he'll give you a sign you just gotta listen to it he'll show signs you it's just your choice to listen to them because today he showed me plenty of signs but um so today's video basically is gonna be about mental health and i i chose this to talk about or whatever it's because a lot of people don't like my videos but maybe it's because i'm talking or something but I honestly don't care as long as I reach out to at least one person because it is what it is. And, you know, I can't make anyone like my stuff, but y'all gonna feel me one day. That's all I can say is you gonna feel me one day. But, um, yeah. So, really, I'm just gonna talk about mental health or whatever because it's actually serious, but it's not taken seriously. Um, first of all, I'm gonna start with how the world is, like, how they train us. First of all, like, how they say they train us. To go to school to get a job. It's go to school, graduate, go to college to get a job. They're not training nobody to be entrepreneurs. Make their own video videos. Make their own businesses. Um, work for themselves. Though they're training you to work for other people. And um, honestly, I done trained my mind to get off of that. Because no, it's not going to work. It's not for me. <laughs> But, um, so I first want to start off that you taught to wake up and go to school, go to school and work or go to school or work without even caring for yourself. Like, basically, you just wake up every day, do the same old, same old, oh, I don't want to go to work, I don't want to go to school, da 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 And honestly, you're not even thinking about, it's not how you say that, you're not even like, I don't know how I would say this, like, you're not focused on your mind that's kind of weird but like oh, let me see how to say this like i can tell when when i'm mentally tired some people so used to doing the same old schedule that they just like jump over their their mental tired they their mental tiredness and they just skip over it or you know throw it out the window you know and they get so used to doing that that they don't care about it anymore and see me, when I'm mentally tired, I have to step back and hold up and get myself back together. Because when I'm mentally tired, I just shut down and it's just that. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to do nothing else. I'm done, you know. Hold on one second. Because, y'all, I'm not feeling glossed up. I guess I don't even care for this, y'all, honestly. I'm talking about mental health. Like, who cares that I ain't got earrings in? You know, I'm a human being. I don't really care what others think anyway, either, so it don't matter. And so you have to care about your mind. Okay, if I look down, I'm looking at my notes. Yeah, when I say my 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 um writing has got better over the years, that it makes no sense. Like my my writing used to be horrible. My brother used to like outright me in anything. But the thing about me is I used to get my school work and he just used to like to write, you know, like boys. Anyway, well most boys. Um so, oh yeah, I also got on here that you need to care for your mind because without your mind, you're not anything. I, well, I, oh, that's kind of harsh, but it's the honest truth. Like, if you ain't got your mind, you sitting in the hospital or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And people are, you don't know, excuse me, you don't know if people are actually taking care of you properly. You know, you look at these nursing homes, look at these hospitals, these people are not taken care of properly. But they can't say anything because they're not there mentally. Like, it's it's real harsh. And even that's not, you don't even got to be in a hospital. If you out in this, you know, in a with a family and stuff, people do some cruel things. And um, if you're not there, you you can't you can't tell anyone what's going on. You don't know how to describe it. You don't know what's going on, matter of fact. So, like, it's really harsh out here. Like, And if you run yourself crazy, then come on now. Run your, you run yourself crazy for this person business, for this, you no. Know? Uh-uh. I'm going to recuperate. I'm going to get myself back together and 
you know, if you don't understand that, then hey, because, I mean, we all human beings, like, that's what I don't understand about people. Like, you make mistakes and they just, <laughs> but it's like, last time I checked, we were all human beings. We all make mistakes. We're not robots. Because, baby, girl, what, 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 what? Like, folks be mad about stuff that's not even serious. Like, for example, these people that work to me, work with me or whatever, co-workers, my co-workers. It was telling me about how um this girl she was on um she was on the front the first window she was on the first window and she was handing out drinks to the customer and she dropped it and the customer went crazy and I can understand she dropped it in the customer car dropped it on the customer drop car she just dropped it and it fell on the ground and the customer just went crazy go get your manager da, 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 da. but it's like you can get another soda like. Or drink or whatever like like you never did anything like that like you you never made a mistake like you just God okay like you're perfect baby girl <laughs> like you don't do nothing wrong like you never made a mistake like everything you do is perfect baby girl I thought God it's the only perfect one but um yeah like people just I don't know like this it's crazy because it's like what do you expect us to do everything right we're human beings we make mistakes we do things wrong sometimes and that's what we have to accept ourselves too because I am a person of this I'm a victim of this when I do something wrong or get something wrong I'm mad at myself but it's like Asia you make mistakes like at least you try because that's another thing about this world like if you compare us to other, if you compare Americans to other, what is it called? To like overseas people, baby girl, they get the stuff done. And my 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 pre cal teacher, he was telling us like he was telling us that he was reading this article and it was saying that they put an impossible. Okay, they had like Chinese on one side of the classroom and then Americans on the other side. Of the classroom. And um, they put a problem on, uh, and an impossible problem on the board. And guess what us Americans said? Uh, and I know because I heard it before. I, I said it before. They said, I can't do that. So <laughs> that is impossible. I can't do that. But guess what those people did? They got up there and they tried. And then they tried. Like they had to get stopped. He said they had to get stopped. That's, that's, that's how committed they was to finishing that problem. But we, we, we always jump to, I can't do that. Then it's like, you ain't even tried. It look hard, but it's not even that hard. Like, that's how I did pre count you know. Then other people run around telling you, oh, that's just the hardest class ever. Da -da 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 -da. If you apply yourself, and the teacher see you applying yourself, you're, you're A1. You're A1, baby. A1. Like, you're good. You're set. You're set like a bet. Like, for real. Though. Like, just, I don't know, like... Take care of yourself, seriously, y'all. Like, take care of yourself because folks out here, they really not stunning all that. They're not. That's why you have to take care of yourself. And that's why I, I that's a big factor for me. If that's one thing I'm going to do, I'm taking care of myself. I, I, and like, oh, yeah. Okay, back to this topic, though, for Because this really was on mental health. Really, everybody has a program. When you go to high school, when you graduate, you just gotta go to college. First of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, it's been some. It's it's been so many people that haven't went to college, didn't even graduate high school, and they're successful. Not saying college is bad because I mean that's the written down paper. That's the diploma or whatever <laughs> you're so why baby so do I. and it's like yeah but you don't have to don't let anyone thank you especially if it's not for you if high school aren't for you like most people say then nine times ten college is not going to be for you but it might because people say that you get more freedom or whatever but that's that might be a downfall for most people anyway but um don't let anyone just make you go to college if that's not for you because you're going to be I won't say crazy, but you're going to be missing time, but you could be doing something else in college, not even understanding anything, just failing and stuff like that. That's wasting money for no reason when you can be starting on something that you know you they want it. Um, so, yeah.
Like mental health is a part of um, self um, care or whatever. You you should rest your mind. Like go to sleep at night, baby. You stop all that worrying. But I can't say that because I worry all the time. But I gotta stop. Like that's why I've been giving giving my worries to God because what we often do is we often give our worries to God. Then we wait a couple of minutes, hours, days. And guess what? That worry comes knocking right back at your door. And guess what? You start worrying again. It's like, oh my gosh, he's not taking long enough. I mean, he's not, he's not, he's not getting rid of it fast enough. He's not doing this fast enough. But it's like, God is always on time, baby. Always on time. He's never on your time, baby. But he's always on time, baby. He's always. Well, I ain't gonna say he's never on time, but he might not be on your time. But if that's your time, then that's just a coincidence that he's on your time. But he's always on time. Time, time. He's always on time, time. Like, you bet. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's always on time. So, yeah, you should rest your, give him your problems and rest your mental. And also, you should relax. Like, take you a detox and find him bath baby shower you don't even do that um get you a bath bomb go get your nails done go get your hair done go get your eyebrows done go get your makeup done um you know just make yourself feel better tell yourself um write down affirmations look up affirmations say them say them in the mirror say them to yourself say them in your head just say them Follow affirmation pages on Instagram, Facebook, you know. Everything is mostly technology nowadays that you can get to it. Go read your Bible. Um, let me see what else I say. I say, oh, keep a journal. Like, it is good having a journal. Like, I got like 10, 20 of them guys. Like, I got so, many, so much, I lose them and everything else. And that's not good. But I just, they're so pretty and stylish nowadays that I just I don't know I like them so I get like a million of them <laughs> but um yeah keep a journal write down every idea you come across never 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 pass up on any of your ideas always write them down write every single one of them down every single one of them. um you can even write down your worries you can write down your worries oh also like we need to understand that it is okay to not be okay also we need to understand that it is okay to fail, but it's your decision to get back up and try it again. To go at it in a different way. But if you if you stay there and mourn and mourn over your failure, then what are you doing? But it's okay to be like, okay, I failed. Now it's time for me to get back up. It's like riding a bicycle. When you first ride that bicycle, when you fall down, you get back up and you get on it again and you try it again and again and again. Then at the end, you happy smile around your bike. <laughs> So just just keep on trying, like just keep on trying. That's another thing with us Americans, we just we fail and leave, walk away, leave it there. No, but it's time now everyone uh, focus on their mental, focus on your mental. When I say focus on your mental, focus on your mental. You are nothing without your mental. Well, you're something, but you're just like a thing. Focus on that. Don't never let that leave you. Never, never let nobody, never let nobody take you off of focusing on yourself, on your mental. People out here in this world, especially for ladies, these males, they will distract you from focusing on your mental. So, boom, you off your mental. You off focusing on your mental. And now, y'all kicking it, y'all rocking it, y'all cooling it, whatever. Then whoop the whoop, boom, y'all break up. He done, he done tore your mental. Everything you've done built up or you was in the process of building, he done tore it right down. That's why you have to build it up first. And that, that can go for males too because it's not just, females are not just the big ones because it's some females out here, they do stuff too. It's not just males, they do everything. Like, it's really like, yeah, so um, you have to have your, your, your conscious, your mind, so, I guess you could say powerful, but just have it so filled and built up, even about yourself, 
about not put knowledge in your mind read but um you you have to have that so filled up especially about yourself that can't nobody tell you different like i done told myself now that like i mean can't nobody tell me different that i'm 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 asia i'm that girl like is no no other person like me i am um, wonderfully and magnificently made like god stamped that like yeah but really that's all i can you know come across it might it, it could possibly be a part two video coming soon just be on the but little look out ah y'all that hurt it shoot oh this is dangerous baby girl like i hurt myself let me stop talking like that it's a habit out but um focus on the good but um ew it sounded so weird saying about um two times like that so you know what i say you know just focus on your mental health do not let yourself fall between the sinkholes of this world that uh have you working this job and you not even caring about your mental health you're 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 depressed you're you know that's uh-uh because if you're depressed and something happened to you how you gonna work so you might as well make sure your mind is straight if you're gonna work point blank period like what but um y'all already know what i always say we gonna always remember to be grateful and we keeping god first of all 2019 so long and I'm gone. But what I want to say before, I, what I want to say before I leave, never let nobody tell you different. Never. Never let nobody tell you that you can't do nothing. If you if you can if you can believe it, you can achieve it. That is so cliche, but it is so true. It's so much stuff I done told myself I can do. And guess what happened? I did it. It's so many things I told myself I can make a wig. I done made two wigs now. The and then it's the two type of ways. I made it with the um, glue and with the um, uh, thread. And even if you don't do right or do it good the first time, there's always a chance for you to do it again. It's just you to take up the chance. So just, just keep your head high. Stay prayed up and just focus on yourself especially. But just focus. I'm not saying be selfish. I mean, I'm not saying be be selfish, but if I'm if if I if I if I'm not straight, then how can I make sure you're straight? Let that marinate like net bone juice, like country when they say. But um, I think that's how you say it. But um, thank you guys for watching. And um, before y'all go, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And if y'all came this long, I mean, if y'all came all the way this far. I love y'all with everything in me, and I promise y'all, I'm finna get back on it, and I'm finna stay consistent. I know I keep on saying it, but I really have been doing pretty good so far. I I, I think so for what I've came from, but um, yeah, I love you guys. I love my Asian babies, all of them, every single one of them. Just stay lifted, and if any of y'all need someone to talk to, y'all can always talk to me. My social medias are in my um. I'll put them in the description down below, actually. I need to start doing that. But, um, yeah. Love you guys.